Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Horns here playing as the mighty Delhi Sultanate. So, in between the last episode and this episode, I have done some research. Actually, I played like. I created a separate save pile and played like 200 years of the game almost. Um, but I found out that Delhi can, in fact, form the Mughals. And as far as I was aware, um, after doing it, it is still possible to restore their empire borders because it just starting as Delhi. Although, restore Delhi's borders to their greatest historical st extent is a little unclear. Um, we'll see how it actually uh, goes. I'll check that when we get a little bit closer. However, um, we can now start moving to culturally convert parts of our land to Afghan culture, which of course is Iranian. So then we can, in fact, get um, the Mughals if we wish. So let's quick core this. The cool thing about that land I just cored is it gives us 13% of our cultural cores. So now we have to get this to 50. So there's no longer the huge stability loss when you switch cultures, but instead I have to promote it quite high. So pretty much I'm going to have to completely culturally convert the whole Punjab area here. So it's going to take a while. It's also going to take a lot of Diplo power. Um, so that's likely to take place over the next several videos. So I will try and remember to keep doing that. Um, the other thing I have to remember to do is I have to remember that we are able to attack Jean Peur here. In pretty much almost now. We have to wait till Transoxana either joins or doesn't join. Plus, I really could use some favors from Bengal. Um, actually, I could probably take them on on my own, to be honest. Let's survive this uprising of the Afghani separatists. Actually, you know what? Let's start the war. We'll start this war and then we'll deal with it later. I have, in fact, claims on most of this, but we want the lower Doab province. So we have, in fact, subdued the Afghans, but I'm not going to use that now. Um, okay, declare war. Lower Doab, which is their capital. We will declare war for that. I'm going to just pretty much send one division there because I don't think... Uh, Jumper does have enough, theoretically, they could beat me in a fight. They do have defensive ideas, and they have land fire damage. Okay, so I do have to be a little bit careful here. They have quite a bit of power. But I'm not terribly worried. It shouldn't be that bad. Um, what's really annoying is Transoxana being in the war. I might actually send troops up there to deal with them first, and then come back and actually finish them off. Actually, I can call Gujarat to the war, which I definitely will, because they provide 18,000 troops, which is almost enough to take on the full army there. And I'm about to deal with more rebels for Transoxana. Seems like every time I attack these guys, they have rebels. A little frustrating. And we're definitely going to get these Afghan separatists, which honestly I'm kind of hoping we get soon. And then we should be able to annex Multan at the end of this war, I would think. Ideally, we want to get enough different cultures in our land that we dilute them enough that I can then quickly expand um, Afghan culture over them. So we'll see how that goes. We are not the most... We're not a tech leader in military tech, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful of any fights with John Per itself. They have a lot of strong troops. Okay, that has fallen. Let's go for their capital. Uh, in fact, we could end up in a fight with Malwa, but obviously we're going to probably encourage a larger coalition here, so I'm going to be relatively careful what I end up doing. Um, we have taken that. I should march over there. Are you guys ready for peace? Oh, I can't check yet. Helps if I have a diplomat in order to do that. Uh, they are, in fact, ready for peace. So, march those to there, and then it's a matter of actually taking on John Per themselves. 
the issue is Bengal probably is going to get involved here and take out, um, try and take as much of John Per's lands as they can. Huh. Ah, that's a silly fort. There we go. Um, actually, yeah, they're going to occupy that for me. Ooh, this is actually lucky here. So what we can do now is we can go to here, the base currency, and then do that, and that removes all our corruption, and it gets us a half-decent amount of money. I love that little feature. Thanks to the person who told me about it. There, in fact, comes Bengal. Okay. We've got to be a little bit careful here. We don't want Bengal to take too much land. Oh, general died. Oh, we still have a general. Okay. And once our missionary is done converting Doab, we're going to move them to Margala over here so that we can then convert it and move on to culturally converting it. Both of which very important to do. We also really need to take retake John Per itself, and then we will deal with their other forts. The problem is Bengal's gonna overrun most of this area. Not much I can do about it though. I also gotta remember not to take military tech until I actually get this institution. At least my uh Vassals are doing a pretty good job occupying areas for me. Oh. Apparently we've decided to devastate the countryside for no apparent reason. And we're going to win that fight. Good. We wouldn't have actually won that fight on our own, which is slightly worrisome. Um, let's quick convert you. Just to speed it up, we will throw in a enforced religious unity. That should be done in two years, and then we can start culturally converting the region. We can't culturally convert it now because it's not an adjacent culture. It's rather frustrating. Because it's not our main culture, we can't do it that way. And I can't take that tech. See, yeah, I told you I would forget that. At least I didn't actually click on it. Um... Okay. Interesting, they picked the fight. They have no hope of winning, but they did. And we can't actually attack there just yet. That fort has to fall. However, I think I'm going to take pretty much pretty much half of John Per's lands here. If I can get away with it. Ideally, I want it to make it so that no one else can take any more of their land. I suppose I could just do that. Risking a bit of a coalition, though. I'm going to trust that I can uh, not have a coalition to attack me. Plus, we get an insane amount of power projecting, which is always useful. Um, let's do autonomy. And then do this, because it's all nice and cheap. Or at least reasonably cheap. We didn't actually take their capital, but that's fine with me. Um, they're no longer a valid rival, which also makes life easier. But more importantly, we've subdued that area. We do not have all the provinces we need. In fact, to get the rest, we have to go pick a fight with Bengal. Anyhow, let's... Okay, outraged countries are being dealt with. Let's... Try to annex you, if possible. You guys, I'll keep around for a while. Rajaput Traditions at least gives them a half decent amount of manpower. I don't believe we can get anything from anybody. Except exempting them from taxes, which we don't want to do. Um, actually, I should see if I should... I should deploy some more cannon. We have four there. We don't have four here, though. Ah, Yorin just collapsed. That's nice to see. We now have conquest claims on Bengal. What a surprise. 
That should also stabilize my armies, give them enough cannon to fight late, later game wars. Um, they actually don't desire my provinces, which is nice to see. And we have passed the Mamelukes in terms of development, which is not a surprise because I'm pretty sure they're being, yeah. They've been beaten up by the Ottomans once already. Let's see, still converting that province. Core is going re really fast because of all those claims. Having claims makes wars a lot easier. Oh. Oh, these guys. Okay, let's add these guys. I've never actually checked how much development that is. How close does that boost us? 16%. Okay, that's not bad. We could theoretically remove some state cores to boost our um, development. And I'll have to think about that. I don't have to move my capital, though, if I do it right, so... Um, you have been converted. Let's convert this province. Goodbye, Sikhism. Um, for 60, we can convert culture there. We can't do anything else yet there. So it's going to take quite a while to do this if we are going to form the Mughals. But once we convert that province, we can start spreading out our conversion because that is the uh, choke point to our actually converting regions. Um, let's annex you. To go reasonably fast, because I believe we have claims on the area. Or maybe the claims don't add into it. Diplomatic reputation does, though, so that's nice to see. Oh, and our ruler is a zealot. Even better, I guess. It's a shame there's no way to reduce the cost of culturally converting a region. Still not allowed. The only one we have to do here, though. Since we're not going Sikhism, I feel no qualms about simply converting it. In fact, Sikhism needs a rework because I don't think I've really seen anybody go Sikhism other than, like, AI tiny countries. Go. Oh, you in there. Actually, I'm going to put these two to drilling. Hopefully that doesn't cause problems in the long run. We're dealing with outraged countries, so other than these guys, no one really should care that much. We do have a couple more Afghan provinces I wouldn't mind retaking here. Um, oh, we actually lost Bengal as an ally. That is a problem. That is, in fact, a serious problem. <laughs> Ooh, um... We still have two allies over here. Is there anyone else who's willing to be friends? That matters, of course. Um, Oman? Not really. Ah. Oh. Hopefully we didn't just massively overextend. I'm pretty sure we can take on Bengal if it comes to it. I suspect the reason they ditched us is because we're falling behind in Miltech. 660. Okay, a couple more months then. Or I could just do that and get a ton of money. I'll take it. There we go. Provincial trade modifier. Two military techs. I'll go with that. And doing cavalry archers and the standard stuff there. Okay. We do still need some military power. We also need some admin power. Can't demand this for another couple years. Got to be careful about if I go ahead and tech again, because this is falling behind. Our ruler is going to die, or should die, fairly soon. Getting production. Culturally converting, we're 25% or 26% down our first province. Pretty good. 
really need to uh, refocus my stuff. Jane Theism. Huh. Um, we're gonna support the Janes. Mainly because now if we patronize them, we can get some Diplo power. <laughs> In the end, who cares about the theological arguments? We just want the power. And our ruler died. Perfect. And we got an heir to the throne immediately. Didn't ask for a better one. Get that going. Um, I think I'll actually refocus to admin for now. Probably need to stay focused on admin pretty much for the rest of the game. Uh, yep. But he tacks. Um, can we in fact convert this? We can. Okay. Obviously we don't want to culturally convert a lot of this region, so as soon as we get it converted, we're good. Unfortunately, the separatism is still in these provinces. Totally converting them will take some time. Other than that, though, it doesn't look like anybody's about to pick a fight with me over my expansion, but my next war is going to involve Bahamanis, which is not going to be good. We do outnumber them. However, Bengal is right there with us on that strength. Let's throw another cavalry archer or two into there. Might as well use that 15% cavalry modifier when, when and where we can. Although I could use a bit more to get um, another cannon. Obviously cannon right now is not the most useful, and here comes a coalition. Great. Okay, let's find an ally. You hate it. You who should defend me. Is that really my only allies? Yeah. I really wish I could get somebody else to help. These guys would be ideal, but they like me that much. Who are my rivals again? Malwa and Bengal. It'll improve relations with Bahamanas and Gujarat. Bahamanas is already in the war against us. If I send an insult to these guys, Vijanagar would like us a little bit more. But they hate Gujarat. Uh, tricky here. Might have gotten a little in over my head. Um. Or rate is at least something I could use in a fight. They've been overrun by tribes. They're winning another war though, so for now I'll ally them. Hopefully they don't call me to arms instantly. After all, Yarkand here has been pretty well beat up. Actually, I could vassalize these guys. Sorry, just pre-vassalage is always worth it if you can get it. Um... Okay, military is being rebuilt, catching up in admin tech. We're about to ally, ally Multan. Actually, this is not bad, is it? Maybe there is a coalition, but we're going to be fighting a couple of them. Huh. Do you have any claims on these guys? I have claims on that province. Um, need a new general, though. No. This army has a fair amount of uh, mercenaries, so the actual situation with troops is not bad. Improve relations to max with the Archons. The best. They'll send the royal marriage on their own here in a minute. Or should. Go. Almost there. I 
just need a tiny bit more of a reputation here. Hopefully we do it before we actually annex our vassal so it stays that way. Oh, they're no longer interested in that. Interesting. Um, if I influence them, that could boost it just enough. No. Interesting. As soon as I allied them, they instantly raised in uh, their estimation of themselves went up and they no longer want to be a vassal. Okay, well, Taunt has been in fact integrated and that gives me five more troops I really don't need at the moment. Um, we'll occupy this and then I'll probably disband them. No. Save me that little bit of money I didn't want to lose. They're not going to trust me anymore because of the diplomatic reputation just got destroyed. On the other hand, we do control this pass better. We have to convert that province. This province still has separatism. Yep, for quite a few more months too. Siege though. And add good attack, nice. Well, we catching up there. Malwa should be overrun. Interestingly, all their troops went up to Afghanistan. They're going to be suffering some, yeah, nasty attrition. Mountains, in winter, with defensive ideas. I wouldn't want to fight my way through that. Although what I would like to do is actually take this fort. Because that seems widely impossible. The other option of what I can do to boost Afghan culture is develop it. Which might actually be a consideration. Um, only once I catch up or get ahead in tech I can do that. I do have to go rescue rescue my fort of row up here. Okay, another fort has fallen. Interestingly, that Gujarat's capital has been occupied. Probably go save that. And go do that. Um, hmm. Delinquent taxation for the reputation. We're still going to be short here, unfortunately. However, if I did hire a level 2 guy, we would catch up. Obviously, I can't really do that while I'm at war, but... When does that modifier expire? 34, so nine more years. So we're only one over it and in trouble that way. Although if these guys would lose some, or let me gain some economic strength, we could do it sooner. At least we can afford to fight these wars now without losing all our manpower due to attrition. Attrition is a serious killer. We've lost 18,000 troops, though, just to attrition. Pretty awful when you think about it. Smash that army. There we go. Coalition against us. Okay, that's a sign I need to be very careful with where I've deployed my troops. Hold at least one army back. We don't want to lose any more manpower. The event of a war will need as much as possible. Okay, we're now ahead of time in Diplotech. That's still not enough to persuade you, though. The Ming really hate us. 
Oh well, that happens. Our ally can't seem to beat Malwa, sadly, without our help. Post so long as we wait, we'll do okay. Bengal, though, has got some rebels, which is interesting. This is actually not bad land in terms of being able to develop it. It's only drylands, so 5%. Not a bad penalty, really. Okay, this province is next. We're almost done being culturally converted. You still have separatism. These guys apparently have one heck of a siege general. They pretty much march into a province and can already siege it down. My worries, we're uh, starting to get some more exhaustion now. Seven years, and then we can finish off Sean Purr. And then uh, we have to deal with Bengal. We might actually go against Bengal f earlier, although Bahamanas is a real problem. I'll give control over the provinces right on the border to these guys. I'd much rather have my ally in control of a couple forts than the enemy. Although my ally is proving to be immensely incompetent in this war. Luckily, they have not joined the coalition against me. Although they can, which is worrisome. You can purchase an ability, though. Um... War score cost versus other religions. That could be really useful, considering pretty much everyone I'm fighting um, is either Hindu, a couple places, or a Sunni, and that really doesn't matter, so. Okay. These guys have been overrun. I don't know why you're not accepting peace yet. I'll see you in there. What do you think of this all? We're gonna need more trust to get them under our control. I guess that's fine. Outrage countries. Get a tech level. That would be nice. Finally, we can get some better cannon on the field and cavalry. Both of which is important. Curious to see how Orate is actually going to do up here. They're doing okay, I guess. These guys really didn't like me there for a while, so I gotta keep them under control. Um, we're gonna work with the Brahmins, I think. True, it does offend my estates, but. Um, oh, I could actually get some. Military support. Oh, raise some more taxes, that way we don't actually fall into debt. We do have enough though to get that. There we go, we're catching up in tech. We're actually the tech leader in the region, which is... I mean, it makes sense, we have colonialism, but still kind of funny. Once this fort falls, this war has to be over. It really does. I don't see how they can keep fighting, but... Oh, <sighs> Gajarad is not proving to be very useful, are they? Whoops, they just lost another army. Fine. Okay, however, this province was culturally converted, so what does that get us? 17. We need a lot more. Okay. We can culturally convert that. We can culturally convert that. And culturally convert that, 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 or that. Ugh. Still, two more. Um, I could afford to develop them if I have to. I probably will start actually developing some of these provinces using uh, Diplo Power. 
just so we get somewhere. 17, we need 50. Obviously, as we convert provinces of other cultures, that will shift in our direction rather drastically. One, there we go. I got nothing. Great. Thanks for that. Absolutely nothing. However, we can in fact fabricate claims on these guys and pretty much attack them anyhow. Free favors is not bad either. It'll make them that much more likely to help me in a coalition war. However, it looks like the coalition has recently collapsed. Malwa. Revoke embargo, please? Come on. Revol revoke embargo. Um, the chance of an unrest in that province. Problem solved. Pull you guys back. We can propagate religion. Really? Oh, that is awesome. There we go. I didn't think you could do it in a country, in a province where you lived yourself. There we go. Any conversion. Here's to where they will actually start up there. Well, that's going to make my life a lot easier in the long run. Automated conversion in a pretty big region is always handy. Um, I should probably move to annex these guys. As we get the chance. I don't think they've got... Yeah, they don't have my culture, so that's fine. keep throwing development up there. If I've got free development, spend it on Afghani provinces, I guess. Seems like a bit of a waste, but who calls, I guess. So, anyhow, that should be it for this episode. A little bit longer than normal. And, uh, we'll continue next time. Slowly converting things. Probably gonna end up in a war versus um, wow. <laughs> Instantly guarantees of independence. Um, are we going to end up fighting Bengal? Maybe we'll go after these guys. They're pretty weak. Not sure. I think I'll move to go after these guys, but we'll see what we actually do. Anyhow, thanks you guys all for watching. And uh, leave any questions or comments below. See you next time. Bye for now.